welcome friends so last session we discussed regarding example of uh, full adder using two half adders so now we'll just continue with four bit triple carry adder wherein full adder acts as a component the last session we used ordered instantiation so this instantiation is called as ordered instantiation in the ordered instantiation you need to follow the order of the port that is specified a b are the inputs yes and c are the outputs this a will be mapped with a of this this yes is mapped with s1 c is mapped with c1 like that a is mapped with s1 here when you call it for second time b is mapped with c in s1 is mapped with some c is mapped with c2 so this is called ordered instantiation one more way of instantiation is named instantiation we normally follow ordered instantiation in order to reduce uh, the the number of uh, uh, letters or alphabets that we write so now we move on to 4-bit triple carry adder. The design is uh, been put uh, in front of you. So here, in 4-bit triple carry adder, so we have uh, four full adders. If we have asked, we have been asked to design 8-bit triple carry adder, we'll be having eight full eight such full adder components. So here I'm I'm having two inputs of four bits each and sum is of four bit, C in as a carry input, C out as a carry output. I have three intermediates which I have named it as C1, C2, and C3. These are carry intermediates. So full adder design is already done here we have uh, designed a full adder i'll just read out its component so for designing one full adder we'll be needing a b and c in as a input a b c in as a input and sum and c out as output sum and c out as output same full adder i have been calling four times so this gives me four bit triple carry adder for four bit triple carry adder my inputs are a b which is of four bits so hence i declare it as input three down to zero a comma b comma one input is of single bit input c in and one of the output sum is of four bit three down to zero and one more output is c out which is of single bit so now coming to wire so wire is uh, the intermediates that we have uh, been defined here c1 c2 and c3 are the wires c1 c2 and c3 are the wires now we write the code so while writing the code you should remember that whenever you call the full adder component follow the ordered instantiation by referring to the previous code which is a full adder code so fa is a full module name so i write it as fa module name followed by i name it i label it as f1 f2 f3 F4. It is according to your comfortability. So FA, I am calling it for first time. We call it as instance name. Then followed by follow the name instantiation or ordered instantiation. A B C in. So A is mapped with A of 0. B is mapped with B of 0. C is mapped with C in. C in is mapped with C in. And next comes sum. Sum is mapped with sum of 0 then c out c out is mapped with c1 which is a wire here c1 next fa one more time i'm calling second time when i call it as call it i'll call it as f2 it's an instance instance name so here my input goes like this a1 b1 uh, c in is mapped with c1 and sum1 and c2 a1 b1 so in place of C in, I am having C1. In place of sum, I am having sum1. In place of uh, carry out, I am having C2. Next, FA, one more time I am calling F3. So here it is A2, B2, C2 is a C in, sum2 and c3 c3 so last time fa f4 so here a3 is the input a3 and b3 are the input carry input is c3 most significant bit of sum s of s of uh, 3 it is s of 3 it is and this is s of 2 and this is c out 
So this completes your code. And if you write only this part of the code in any of the ADA tools, Xilinx tool, it will give you an error telling that FA is undefined module. So to just overcome it, you need to write a full address code, either this code or else you can just write a full adder code in data flows design style of modeling. So this is uh, regarding 4-bit triple carry adder. We'll go with uh, another example now. So design of basic gates, design of basic gates using 2 is to 1 marks. This is one of the important or basic question which most of the student confuse to solve it. So I am designing AND gate using 2 is to 1 marks. For this I need to have a 2 is to 1 marks first. For writing 2 is to 1 marks code, I have written the same way, uh, basic, in a, using a basic way. So module max 2 underscore 1, input i0 i1, i1, s0 is a, uh, is a select line and y is output, assign y is equal to s0 bar i0 plus s0 i1. This is a 2 is to 1 max code. This max using this mux i need to design an and gate so and gate truth table is written here this is mux so i am using b as a select line and y is output mux realization this is a this is how we realize a mux i naught and i1 two two is to one two inputs mux it is i naught and i1 and i am computing uh, y is output i'm keeping b as a select line so i go on writing the truth table like this 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So if it is 0, 0 here for I naught, if it is 0, 0 here, so you need to supply logic 0 to the I naught. If you get 0, 1, 0, 1, you should supply A to the I1. And if you get 1, 0, you should supply A bar. If you get 1, 1, you should supply logic 1. This you have studied it in your digital electronics part. So by this, my i0 should be allotted with 0, i1 should be supplied with a, b being the select line. So this is a design. So for this, how to write the code? Max code is already ready. I am calling this max code inside the AND gate. Module AND gate it is, but using max, input is a, b, output is y. So I call upon max underscore 2 underscore 1. Max underscore 2 underscore 1. This is the module name instantiation name instance name is i call it as m1 m1 is optional i can have any name m1 first being the inputs i0 and i1 i0 and i1 is logic 0 so logic 0 is written like this 1 tick b 0 comma i1 in place of i1 i have a write it in place of select line i am having b write it in place of output i am having y write it end module so this completes your design of basic gates or and, and gate using two stone marks so in the same fashion you can design or gate or so on now coming to the one more example one more example here you have been asked to design two is to one max two is to one max using buff f1 and buff f0 these two are uh, new new very long constructs for you buff f1 and buff f0 we had taken this explanation in the earlier sessions I'll just take it here so buff f1 is here you don't have a bubble here buff f0 you have a bubble here if control is 0 output will input will be sub, uh, supplied to the output if control is 1 input will be supplied to out that's the only difference between buff f0 and buff f1 so you are we are making use of the same to write the code for 2 is 1 max so here, this is a design for 2 is to 1 max. Here what we are doing is, we are assigning the control with select line. Yes. If S is equal to 0, if S is equal to 0, this will be disabled, this will be enabled. When this is enabled, output will receive the value, output will be connected with I2. When S is 1, when S is 1, output will be connected to I1. So this will be enabled. So when control signal is 1, buff f1 will execute when control signal is 0 buff f0 will execute so this is how it works well let us write a code for this module module uh, name it as uh, max 2 underscore 1 using buff you can have you can have, name it in your own way inputs which all are the inputs i1 
i to s output out we don't have any intermediates here directly we can go ahead so i use buff if one i name it as label it as b2 b2 it's been given b2 first space is allotted with output out comma next is with control signal yes next is with control signal let me check so next is you just check here i had given an example buff if one next is for input last is for control signal so this is wrong here so here you need to write the input input is i1 next is control signal similarly buff f 0 b1 out i2 and yes and module so this completes your two is one mux code here i want you to remember one important concept so this concept is out of uh, your syllabus or interest but uh, it's very important to note here so i'll just cover it so in vlsi circuits whenever you have two wires connected to single wire this junction how it should be treated so at the input side it is not creating any problem because uh, input will be fed in two different wires but what what about output so output is been driving by two different lines if this also carries valid logic if this also carried valid logic then for which logic should be carried over here so that's a confusion to the vlsi circuit so this is called multiple multiple driver problem multiple driver problem if two valid logics are being driven by single output line but here it is not the case because you will you'll be getting valid logic either from this line or from this line if this is active this will be inactive if this is inactive this will be active so either of one will be having valid logic so it will not cre create any problem only thing is um, xilinx will show you some errors some some warnings which can be ignorable your this will this will work fine in your tool but what if you have a two valid logic here that's a wrong way of using so what we need to do is we need to put a or gate or and gate there is something called or resolution and all which is uh, uh, which you can learn in your higher semesters so with this we completed examples of gate level modeling in the next session we cover with the last topic that is delays gate level delays thank you